Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Sarah and this is technically, I believe, my fourth vlog and I love vlogging. Honestly, every time I do it, it just feels so natural and it's just really nice because I feel like you guys get to learn more about me maybe on a different level and every time I do a vlog I say that but I truly mean that so I am actually on my way right now to go to the chiropractor because they ordered some orthotics for me so I've never mentioned this on my channel but basically I have really flat feet I mean like <laughs> I do I barely have an arch and it really causes a lot of back pain knee pain it's a little bit of both but it just gives you a relief for your back pain and I'm just so excited because I get massages as much as I can at least once a month or once every other month and to me it's the biggest relief because you know and i tell them to focus especially the the person that i go to i tell them specifically to focus mostly on my back because my back is very stubborn and i like it where they just really like dig in there because i have a stubborn back and it's all because of my flat feet you know there's always a source so i am just so excited to get orthotics i've never had orthotics in my life just going throughout my life and feeling this way you know i'm just excited to have relief and especially you know for someone that does train and work out it's already really hard on you know your body and all of that so when you add that factor in a flat feet it just it's not good <laughs> you know i just have to think on the positive you know thank god i have feet thank god you know things can always be worse so you got to always look at the positive the only thing though they did say is is that i have to you know get used to it for the first couple of weeks because they say it's really uncomfortable especially if someone like me like i said <laughs> it's super flat i'll just basically i'll show you what they look like once i get them getting that done i'm gonna go see my mama because she lives really close to the chiropractor so it's perfect oh i'm getting an adjustment because might as well i'm right there and i just feel so good like i'm that type of person i love hearing the crack like i'm like oh, yes it's so good Yes, what else? Oh, I wanted to mention this too, and I mentioned this again on my channel before. If you guys watch me all the time, you guys have heard me say this. Uh, so I went for a time, maybe I didn't film for like three weeks. I haven't done that since. I've basically filmed continually like two times in a week or once a week at least. I never give a schedule for this reason. So sometimes when things get too busy in my life, because I do a full-time job, so it's not like, you know, this is all that I do, but I enjoy doing this. So I never like to give a schedule because you don't know what happens in life and I never want to promise something that I can't deliver. So I'd rather under promise, but over deliver when I can, obviously. So sometimes I'll shoot out like two videos or, you know, a video here, a video there. But for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be really 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 busy but after that I'll go back to my normal schedule hopefully and then everything will be good but I like to give you guys a little update about that because you know I do have people that really love watching my videos and thank you so much that really does mean so much to me I appreciate all of your love and all of your support and it just makes me feel so happy that I'm doing this and it just you know it brings happiness to me and what's really cute one of my best friends her little girls I caught them I'll see if I can put a picture somewhere right here I caught them both watching my videos at the same time it was so cute one had an iPad one had a phone and they were watching me and what was really cute before they did that they asked me they're like you know do you get hate on YouTube and I said actually I said I've had like two people say something to me but I always answer very professional and very you know very calm I never lash out and I said, uh, yeah, but you know what? There is way more good that outweighs the bad. And I asked myself this question before starting a YouTube channel. Would I be able to handle hate and criticism? And the answer is yes. Yes, it's unacceptable. It shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. But I always say you could be the ripest peach. And there's always someone that's going to think that, you know, 
you're not ripe. <laughs> um, you guys get what I'm saying. But anyways, long story short, it was really cute. And you know, it's nice to be a role model. And that's what I try to always be. So it's really cute. And it just, you know, validated everything that I do. So I'm really happy to be here. And I'm so happy to have each and every single one of you here to join me, you know, on my videos to watch them. So thank you so, so much. What else can I catch you guys up on? Oh my gosh. So I am an ambassador for the first time and I couldn't be more honored. It's with Scott Barnes and it's just, it's such an honor is what it is. It's such an honor, it's such a blessing. I'm just so grateful because, you know, I have done many Scott Barnes videos because I just adore him. I he's he's my he's one of my best friends and he doesn't know it <laughs> like i love him he's such a teddy bear i just want to like oh, just give him a big hug he's so freaking cute so anyway so yeah i'm an ambassador for the very first time and i did put out a video last year i want to say last year maybe a little bit before that this august will be two years for me on youtube so it's so quick but anyways yeah so I put a video out saying, you know, if you're new, just be careful because some people try to approach you to be an ambassador and this and that and, you know, and I said I'm never opposed to being an ambassador, but it does depend on who it is. It doesn't have to be always necessarily like a big name, but you just have to do your research because there's so much legalities to it and people just don't realize it and they get taken advantage of, especially when you have a smaller following. And granted, I don't have hundreds of thousands, but, you know, I've been growing ever since, but still, you know, um, you just have to be you have to think ahead and down the road of who you partner up with or who you do something like this with so i am just so grateful so if you are interested in any of scott barnes products the only thing i think it doesn't work on is body bling but i may be wrong he does have some sets so it ends up still being a good deal and i it does work on bundles i've tried it and some of my friends have tried it but anyways i'll put my code right over here and it is sarah b 15 so that's sarah b 15 in all caps and it will get you 15 percent off your purchase and like i said even if something's a sa on sale like a bundle you will still get an additional 15 percent off so that is just amazing he had this set which was really cool my friend ended up getting it or was going to get it she was asking me what to get because she loves pinks so he had this really cute pink set got like four things and it was such a great deal. I mean, nowadays, like, you can't even get drugstore for that price. So, I mean, it's really good. And his stuff is literally amazing. And even if I was an ambassador, which this whole time I really wasn't, and I was promoting his stuff, it's because I truly believe in that. Um, I believe in his product. So, I just think that if you're going to do something, you know, do it wholeheartedly. And if you're going to promote something, do it for the right reasons. And not, again, not because I'm an ambassador. I've always only promoted things that I truly truly love on my channel I would never promote anything that I didn't love because I want you guys to trust me and I want to be the source for you guys to come to and you know just be like that friend that you know hey girl you know, do you like this yes girl, I love it it's so good <laughs> when you work out like your hair is so nice right you just do it and then you work out and the girls that work out know or guys that work out no i'd say mostly girls because unless you're a guy that has long hair you know it's just it's annoying to have to wash your hair every day and i don't recommend that any hair care video i've ever talked about on my channel i've always said don't wash your hair every day you need that natural oil but your hair just is like oh, I the dry shampoo but anyways i've been using amika dry shampoo one of my girlfriends she ended up getting me just like a set was it my birthday christmas i can't remember i think my birthday i really like it but i like to change things up so let me know comment down below a really good dry shampoo i really need something that doesn't leave that white residue just because i have darker hair and speaking of hair comment down below guys let me know if i have a picture of me with highlights i will put it right here i'm sure i do i will put it right here let me know should i do highlights again or should i go darker i know it's a really big like okay sarah it's like this or that i get it but i just don't know what i want i was leaning towards dark for the longest time and then 
Of course, you know, you see a picture of highlights, but this is the thing though. My hair has been the healthiest it's ever been, so I'm really worried to do highlights. And of course, it's who your hairdressers are. I trust my hairdressers with my hair for sure, or else, you know, I would never go to them. But, you know, and they've done such a great job before it with highlights, but still, your hair will still look a little bit dry, and that's just the truth, especially if you're naturally not you don't have lighter hair and actually I did highlights about three years ago that's how long it's been and my hair does look dark now but in the sunlight there's like highlights peeping through so I just I'm kind of getting tired of my really light ends so I either want to do highlights which would be that or that like I can't do dark and then it's like too much you know if you're a hairdresser you know or if you're knowledgeable about hair and coloring you guys know that but let me know. What do you guys think? Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I love old school rap. Ice Cube, Tupac, Biggie, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Like, yeah. You know, I grew up listening to that. But, you know, nowadays it's very rare for me to like a rap song. I just like the old school stuff. What do you guys think? Again, comment down below. Let me know. Please interact with me because... I love interacting with you guys and I want to hear what you guys think about that. Do you like rap? And if you do, do you like the newer stuff or do you like the old school stuff? Because I am the one of the biggest Ice Cube fans and if you know me, you guys know that. <laughs> you guys know my love for him and Tupac oh, on a different level. If Tupac was alive and I met him, we would be best friends, okay? It's just you know his vibe really really cool i've seen ice cube once I'm not gonna lie i don't know the states is just a different vibe you know so i don't know i like going to detroit and watching concerts but anyways yeah i've seen him years ago 2014 i seen ice cube and then uh i saw bone thugs in harmony with snoop dogg it's funny because i like snoop dogg but I mostly went for Bone Thugs and Harmony. Actually, my cousin and I, we are best friends. My cousin Jason. That was one of, oh, that was such a good concert. What else have I seen? I think those were my only two. No, I saw Eminem and Rihanna also in Detroit. So that was a, so this is a really cool story. I'll tell you guys about that. Oh, I was already going to cross to the States. And I was already going to go there because my cousins and I, we were all going to get together. It was one of my cousin's girlfriend at the time, but his wife now. Um, it was her birthday. So we were all planning to go to Royal Oak. If you guys are from Michigan or you guys from Detroit, you guys know. Um, or Canadian, close to the border, you guys know. So we were going to go to Royal Oak. So my cousin goes to me, you know, you're coming down anyways. It's the Eminem Rihanna concert. You want to go? I was like, yeah, let's go. I'm very spontaneous like that too. Like, I am a planner, don't get me wrong. I love spontaneous stuff like that because it ends up being the best time ever. So, oh my gosh, it was the best time ever. And then we end up getting chop all line, chop all line's my line. <laughs> and then we end up getting that. We still went out to dinner. We come back like, I don't know, what was it? Two o'clock in the morning. We left it by mistake on the, on the table instead of the fridge. We look at each other, we're like, is this still good? We're like, let's just eat it. it was, we literally had the best time. We still talk about that day. We've had so many times like that. It was just so freaking good. But my very first concert, actually speaking of concert, was Tony Bennett with my dad. So it was really sentimental to me and I just, I, I love Tony Bennett. I'm the type of person that really loves to listen to a country. I listen to literally everything. Love Italian music, Greek music, uh, Serbian music. I literally listen to everything, Arabic of course. Uh, so I really am, um, you know, I love to widen my horizon when it comes to music. Romanian house, like, ooh, I've been on a streak of Romanian house lately. Like, it's so freaking good. You guys would know that too if you watch my last vlog. Yeah, it was just, it was really, really good. So it was a good vlog, but yeah, I love me some Romanian, Romanian house music. Hey guys, so I am going to let you go. I'm almost pulling up to the chiropractor and I will see you guys later. I will show you guys my orthotics. I'm so excited. So I am back. I just finished taking a shower and let me just tell you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, 
but my cheeks are on fire right now. I'm having a really bad rosacea flare up and honestly I really wanted to make this video longer but I truly think when I was lying down on the chiropractor's you know like bed where they give you an adjustment or table I should say um, my face was touching the mask so much and I feel like that's what caused it because initially that's how I ended up getting rosacea anyways. But I still wanted to give you guys an outro and I apologize if this video wasn't as interesting, but I hope we caught up a little bit and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. But I still want to show you guys my orthotic. Obviously I got two, but I just want to show you what this looks like. They kind of cut it up to match your shoes that you're going to wear all the time. And as soon as I put it on, I just felt my back just straighten up a little bit more. And I know over time that's going to help, help with my feet, help with my back. And I'm just so grateful to be able to get them. And I'll definitely give you guys more of an update next time. But I feel like I should end this and just kind of relax because I'm getting overheated now. I should probably take off my little sweater but if you guys want to join the advice boutique family it would be amazing and i'd love to have you make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe of course that way you are in the know when a video comes out i love you guys so much